How's everybody doing? We're going to take a look at the Boss XT2 Extortion. Um, this is one of the infamous Boss Distortion um, devices that came out in 1996. Came out along with the um, oh, what was it called? <laughs> That's showbiz, you see. Uh, came along with the power driver PW2. Um, some people say the power driver was Boss's version of a big muff. Very noisy Marshall type sound. The extortion is completely different though. Um, it's very nasal and it's very nasty. Um, I really like it. It's completely different to um, any um, distortion unit I've ever used or heard. Um, so uh, yeah, let's check it out right now. Uh, the production of uh, these pedals was very short lived. I think um, August 96 until um, late 98 it just didn't take off people didn't like the sound um, so you've got four controls uh, level contour punch and distortion the controls kind of confuse people in the accompanying booklet this unit has been designed to deliver a really futuristic metallic distortion um, yeah that doesn't really appeal um, equipped with a punch knob for adding punch to the distortion. I guess that's the, um, the base. Uh, featuring a contour knob that can quickly change the sound to what you have imagined. <laughs> Allowing even wider sound creation. Hmm. Yeah, you, you really have to hear it. The amplifier is an orange rocker verb. 50. Guitar, Gordon Smith, G60. This is the clean signal. Extortion with everything at 12 o'clock. Uh, this is the uh, bridge pickup. So let's crank up the um, the contour or just mess around and see what happens. Carried in. Sounds a little bit, reminds me of the um, of the uh, metal zone. Uh, it's yeah, fizzy. Quite full here. Um, punch. Now it's very muddy. 
quite mild. Let's put it on the uh, the neck. A bit of reverb. early 70s uh, thing there too. Um, that's a great pedal. Uh, it's very versatile. Um, it's not one for the board but... Humbucker. Try the uh, the neck. Bit of a brain making. Fun. Uh, I love it. 